Whenever I'm quoting, designing and building camper vans, one of the biggest problems is how we're going to stay connected. That connectivity can be for someone like a remote worker that needs to stay connected online. Or, let's be honest, it can be if you've got a couple of kids, it starts to piss it down. We do live in England. You're going to want something to keep them entertained. So in this lovely little video that you've clicked on, I'm going to explain to you the best options to keep connected, how to easily install one of these options, and if you stick around till the end, I'll show you a really good way on how to achieve all of this while saving a load of money. Show me the money! The way I see it, you've got three main options. You can stick to the 3G, 4G that's on your phone. Let's be honest, when you're in the middle of nowhere, you've got no signal. It just always happens. You can invest in the 3G, 4G boosters, which can be installed on the top of the van. But again, 3G and 4G work on masts, which are in built-up areas, which when you're going in a camper van, who wants to go in a built-up area? Or the final and my favourite option, you can go down and connect directly to the satellites with a Starlink. Now, for those of you who just need a refresher on exactly what Starlink is, it's a satellite dish which connects directly to internet broadcasting satellites, which are over our heads on one of the biggest, most capable networks available. We currently have one of the biggest coverage networks across the whole world, so I bet any plans that you want to do of going away in your camper van, look at this coverage map and you'll see that they're all available for you to use. But as much as I love the capabilities that Starlink offer you, being able to go completely remote to the absolute back end of nowhere and still getting fantastic download and upload speeds, it does have a couple, a couple of issues. Starlink comes with two incredibly easy installation instructions. Plug it in and point it at the sky. It can be done in either order. But of course, as anybody knows, whenever you're going to a camper van, plugging something in is not as easy as plugging it into the wall. And pointing it at the sky when you're in a big metal tin does require a couple of bits of installation. So in this video I'm going to show you how to very easily install it into a camper van, even if it's already built with the help of lovely Project One. But I'll go into the details of Star RV Mound a little bit later on into the video. First of all, you need to start stripping down and getting the van prepared for the installation. And now that all of the caps are popped off the screws, we're going to undo the screws and just take the ceiling down. Then installing all of the things that I did on Project One when I built it last year, uh, I included a light bar on the front of the roof rack and wired that through a gland in the roof. And so for this build, I'm going to be using that existing gland, no point drilling an extra hole when there's already a perfectly good one there. Now the installation of the Starlink on top of the van is going to be helped by this week's channel sponsor, Star V Mount. They sponsored this week's video and sent us the entire installation kit that we need for this Starlink Mini. A little bit more on them later on. One thing that you will find is that there's a couple of different Starlinks. The best one to get on the top of your van is the Starlink Mini. Now, that's mainly because it's designed to be used for uh, the leisure, boat, and marine industry. And so the, there's a minimum amount of wires and different connectors and everything that you need to install it. That being said, if you do already have, or if you have access to one of the more standard Starlinks, which you'd use in a home or office, you can also install them too and start at the amount as soon as you give them a call as soon as i picked up the phone and spoke to them you could tell straight away they're really passionate about what they do and i couldn't think of anyone better to ask for being a video sponsor so for this starlink mini installation we've gone for the star rv mount starlink mini bracket this is going to be installed on the top of the van and for a little bit of added security i've gone for the security bolts these are just a non-common thread, so then when we actually attach the Starlink Mini to the top of the roof, even though it's way up there, it just adds that extra bit of security. So the Star V mount, uh, which comes for the Mini, one side hooks over the top there. Now the bottom and hooks under the bottom. And then you can see them two married together and go together with the box. Leaves room for your cable as well to run up and plug it in. I've noticed there's a common theme with this video is that I'm trying to explain something that's incredibly simple. Stick with me, I'll give you some extra juicy bonus content right at the end. Now we are going to be building with Chris a bespoke brand new van in 18 months time. So the install of the Starlink today is going to be onto the roof rack rather onto the van roof itself. That way it's easily removable if the new owner doesn't want a Starlink on theirs. But as you can see on the Star V mount, we've got loads of different mounting holes for any different type of van. For this one, I've marked out the two at the bottom, which will allow, I think I'm gonna go for three on the bottom just to make sure it's nice and secure.
So there's a quick look of the mount and the Starlink fits in like that. We've put a slight tilt forward on it just for you know, avoiding wind resistance um, and just better pointing up at the sky. So now that the Starlink is mounted and secured up on the roof, cable comes down now. We're using the existing cable that comes with the Starlink, so there's quite a lot of excess. So we're going to bundle this up, secure it above the roof, and then run down and find the spot where we're going to put the switch. I built Project One with a 12 volt power system. That's the most frequently used power system in any sort of camper van life. Now the way that the Starlink Mini works, due to its different strengths, its requirements, and its operational side, it requires between 12 and 48 volts. And that's where this comes in. This is a DC to DC 12 to 48 volt converter. It provides exactly the power source which the Starlink Mini needs in a nice, convenient, and more importantly, tested unit. Power cables come from the existing fuse board. We can then run that through a four pin relay, which has got a relay power switch on it then through into the voltage converter to up that voltage to 48 volts and then using the existing Starlink Mini DC barrel connector that then can go through the barrel socket up to the Starlink power it and the Starlink Mini is really handy because it's already got a built-in hotspot and you can connect your phone directly to the Starlink After taking a few panels off you can see I've just left a bundle of the wires there I'm going to properly secure them and leave the majority of them above the ceiling but then the wires come down behind the wall coming out from the bottom there into the arm i'm going to leave a little bit of slack but then you'll see in a second underneath here where all the main electrics are that's where we're going to hook everything up Now that all of the electrics are in and tidied away, we have a switch on the side, accessible from the driver's seat, which flicking on, turns on the switch, puts 48 volts up to the roof to the Starling, uh, which I'll show sure connected now. Now from my early Yorkshire promise, and from what I know a lot of you are thinking, even though the Star V-mount is a very, very good option for mounting Starlink, which is inevitably a, just a fantastic product, it does cost quite a lot of money. And I must admit that when I saw the monthly cost of about £75 for the Starlink service, it did turn my nose up at it as well, compared to the £45 up here for, for business internet. However, one thing which I've recently learnt, which has turned me from a sceptic to going to be a customer, is you can cancel your Starlink at any time. You've got a monthly commitment with them. So if you think about how you're going to be actually using the Starlink, how you're going to be using the internet when it comes to your camper van, over the course of the spring and the summer and into the autumn, you might go away for one, maybe two months. And so if you consider the massive service and uh, amount of time that the kids can have distracted on their iPads when it's pissing it down outside, you know, should probably spend around about the same amount of money over the course of those two months compared to what you would do for your regular 3G, 4G SIM card in one of those camper vans over the course of the entire year. I think they're a minimum of 12 months. And on top of that, I did promise if you stick around to the end, I'll find a way to save you some money. But thankfully, our friends over at Star V Mount have offered anyone that watches this video a crafted Camper Cove fan. If you use our discount code, which is on the screen above me, you'll be able to get a good discount when it comes to buying any of the equipment off of their website. So even if you've got an existing Starlink and have to go for one of the bigger units, or you do the same as me and you go for the Star RV Star V Mini, then you'll be able to get a great discount on them. That's not so bad, eh? Even though I've managed to get that done and dusted and off within a day, uh, if you do think it is a little bit too much work or you don't have the time, feel free to send me a quick email on the email down below or the telephone number above and I'm more than happy to get you booked in and I can get it installed for you. Additionally as well, I did promise you some interesting news. So starting from tomorrow, we have Project 3. Woo! So that's uh, Charlotte dropping off a medium wheelbase sprinter and I'm very, very excited. 
as I'm sure all of you guys are on the channel to get some regular videos back. Every two weeks we're going to have a massive long video which is going to be detailing all of the design, building, finishing, everything you could possibly imagine inside of a camper. So look forward to that, keep your eyes peeled, get subscribed, ring the notification button so then you get alerted every single time that we post a video. And thanks again to Star V Mount for sponsoring this video. Check the link below, go and use the discount code, save yourself some pennies. Happy days, see ya.